Hey guys, welcome back to you or welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Chyan Olchen and if you have, thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. You guys are honestly making my dreams come true and I can't thank you guys enough for it. And if you've seen last week's video, it was the last episode in the little True Crimes of Australia series on Ivan Malat. I will still be doing True Crimes of Australia, but that was the mini series on the Backpacker Murder case. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very long, very dark case, hence why I split it up into six different parts, just so I could cover things a bit more. So yeah, I hope you guys liked that. And this week I'm doing a much more chill video. I, I need a break from the dark, murderous stuff. And in this video, I'm talking about my goals for 2021. I wonder how this will end up. My first goal for 2021 is to seriously, seriously focus on my mental health. That was meant to be my goal last year, 2020, but as we all know, nearly everyone was like, 2020 is going to be my year, and then 2020 was like, fuck no. So yeah, um, I really want to work my mental health and what I mean by that is getting back into working out, doing some meditation and just enjoying some more free time for myself too. Reading books more and trying not to let things that I can't control bother me as much. That has seriously been a massive problem of mine for many, many years and I really want to work on that because as I'm getting older I I understand that my mental health is really important and I have struggled with it a lot and I really just want to get on track with that this year. I noticed that before when I was working out my mental health was better because you know I was feeling myself. I really want to get back to that stage and yeah so that's my number one goal. Work on my mental health, meditate, work out and eat healthier so I can achieve that goal. My other goal for 2021 is to be more environmentally friendly, more eco-friendly. I have already started to do that. I started doing that a lot towards the end of um, last year because as you get older, as I've gotten older, you find out more, you learn more, you educate yourself more on climate change and global warming and some of the effects of what we are doing. And especially with COVID-19, the fact that for a long time most people around the world couldn't travel and the planet seemed to get the break it needed and was starting to heal. And I just want to do my part to help the world. So I have started off with that. I've got metal straws, I've got um, I think bamboo knives and forks in the car so I'm not getting plastic ones when I'm getting takeaway. And I have switch my hair care to a eco-friendly brand called Love, Beauty and Planet. I am currently using the Rose shampoo and conditioner. I love it and I was worried about messing around with my hair care mainly because I have really thick curly hair and you know I don't want to fuck with what I already know works but they were unspecial at cold, so I decided to try them out. I love the smell of them. They're vegan, eco-friendly, and most of the packaging for it is recyclable apart from the lid, but they're working on that. And I have recently started using Sukin um, skin products because I um, have eczema, which is a, if you don't know what it is, it is a skin condition where your skin dries up and like when it dries up a little bit you accidentally scratch it and it scabs and then you scratch the scabs and then they get bigger and worse. Um, that is mainly what the scarring on my back is from and I don't know if you can see the ones on my elbows but um, I used Novastone for it. I've, my parents really noticed it when I was about 6 months old and so I was born with it. I know how to manage it. But I wanted to try doing it more naturally without using the Novastone. Not that Novastone is bad, I just wanted to see if I can do it naturally. And I found that with using Sukin products, it really did help. And with using stuff that contains coconut oil, it seems to help my skin and my skin doesn't react badly to it. And yeah, and the other way I've started being more eco-friendly is I haven't been eating meat as much. No, I'm not vegan. Um, I 
probably won't ever go fully vegan, but I have decided to cut down my meat intake quite a lot. Um, I do one or two days a week where I don't eat meat, and because of that, my skin seems to be looking really nice. I don't know if it has anything to do with me not eating meat, but I've just noticed that I'm feeling really good, and it's given me a chance to play around with different things, eat more veggies than what I was, and I'm loving it. And yeah, the other way I've been trying to be more eco-friendly is not buying stuff in heaps of plastic packaging and trying to recycle as much of what I've used, like biscuit tins I will use to store some of my filming equipment in. And yeah, my goal for 2021 is to be more consistent and get better with it. The other thing that I want to focus on in 2021 kind of does tie in with mental health. Um, I do want to be fully um, transparent with my mental health. Um, a lot of people say it's stupid that I do have a lot of body image issues because I am thin. Um, but it, anyone can feel, have they can have body image issues no matter what they look like, no matter if they're thin or bigger. And it's a really hard thing to struggle with, so this year I want to push myself out of my comfort zone. I normally avoid things like crop tops and stuff like that because of the scarring on my back. I'm, I want to wear more stuff like that, I don't want to be ashamed of it, those scars make me who I am. And I'm honestly, I shouldn't be ashamed of it, it's my body, I should be proud of it. And I also want to start wearing more dresses and skirts occasionally. I am a massive tomboy, if you know me in real life, you know I live in oversized band t-shirts, oversized jumpers, skinny jeans, shorts, tank tops, all of that. I want to try stepping out of my comfort zone and to grow more confident in myself because I used to be a really confident person but then, you know, life happened and I want to get that me back. And yeah, it's a really hard thing for me to talk about, but I will always preach body positivity. I will always preach talk to someone if you're struggling with your mental health or if you feel like you're struggling with body image, please go to someone. Um, it's much easier knowing that you're not alone than thinking that you're going through it alone, that no one will believe you, everyone will call you crazy. Because you're not alone. There's a lot of people that do struggle with this, even though everyone struggles with it in a different way, you're not alone. My other goal for 2021 is to seriously get better with saving money. Last year I was so stupid, I was like, you know what, I work in fast food, I'm a casual worker, there's no way I'm going to afford to buy my own place anytime soon. So I kind of just went on a few shopping sprees when I felt like crap and bad way to deal with it but sometimes you just need to buy a few things to make yourself happy not that I'm very materialistic but like there was a book I wanted and oh that's a really nice pair of shorts I'll get those and yeah so this year I really want to get better with saving my money instead of just spending it um I have always been pretty good with saving money because my parents they drilled it into me at a very young age look at what's on special what's reduced on clearance look for sale and if you can buy two of the same item and get it way cheaper do it um so i've always had that burn into my head at a pretty young age i just want to get better with it and yeah hopefully one day i can afford the toyota hilux that i want that's my dream i would love to have my own Hilux. My dad got a Hilux and I absolutely fucking love it and I would love to buy one for myself. And yeah, and then my other little goal is to hopefully maybe have my own small business by the end of the year. I've been working on it for a little while now. Um, I'm working on stuff that I want to do so hopefully that comes to fruition. Well, I'm going to try my hardest to make it happen and yeah. So that is Basically, my goal for 2021 is mental health, body image, um, saving money. I would also love to do more fundraisers this year. That is my goal. Last year for my birthday, I did a birthday fundraiser for Thorn, which if you didn't know, is a organisation that fights against um, child sex trafficking, exploitation um, of children. And I really 
every year I'm going to try and do a birthday fundraiser for them. I really believe in their mission and they've rescued so many children so far that I would love to see how many more we can rescue and how much um, resources can be put into it. They're helping law enforcement around the world with new technology and I really do support them. I would love to do more fundraisers especially for um, mental health, for body image, for sexual assault awareness and many other things, cancer. And yeah, those are my goals. I would love to raise money and help fundraise for these things. Um, yeah, 2020 was such a fucking shit year. And sadly, there was not enough resources for a lot of these things. And it set us back quite a bit. And this year, I want to do as much as I can to help get us on the right track and help with as many things as possible. So I am currently editing my video and I noticed that I left some of my goals out. So one of them is to have a tattoo by the end of this year and maybe get my third piercing done. I did get my second one done closer to the end of the year but I really would like to get my third done in both ears. I'm definitely getting at least one ear done but I've maybe both. And yeah, I've got those two. I don't know how. Again, it would be midnight when I was filming, so might be why. Um, hopefully the small business and yeah. I hope this year goes better than it did last year. Well, that's a stupid thing to say. This year I am not going to let other things control me. I'm going to do everything to the best of my ability. I'm not going to let anything hold me back. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, let me know what your goals for 2021 are. Are you going to be focusing on your mental health? Are you going to be pushing yourself out of your comfort zone? Are you going to try and start your own small business? Are you trying to find a new job, new relationship, family, kids? What are you trying to do for 2021? I would love to know. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one, which will most likely be a either smaller true crime case or a missing person case. I'm not quite sure yet, there's a lot to choose from. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye!